Hi there Facebook fans, this is Keisha um, giving you a brand new interview with our brand new Chuck Cranston, Harry Neal. Harry, give us some love. How you doing? What's up? So, 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 Harry. Yes. I've uh, got a couple of questions to ask you. Um, so your first week was Ellsbury, which was last week. Right. So how was it? Really you know? good. Yeah. Tiring as well. Mm -hmm. Tiring. Eight shows a week. Bit of stamina building up yeah. there, but now I'm getting through it. It's good. Yeah. As you said, I'm the second week now, so it's, it's a brilliant show. I'm enjoying it. Do you feel like you've been thrown in at the deep end, or are you feeling a bit nervous? Do you know what? Confident? At first, I was very nervy yeah. before I started, but then once I joined the company, you know, I met the dance captains, and everyone just welcomed me in so... It was so friendly, so basically, yeah, it was, it was really good. Yay, for real. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, are you more experienced in the world of pop rock than of musical theatre, or both, you know, you feel quite safe and happy in both? Because I know you were in a band called yeah, Injustice. that's right. And um, what sort of music was that that you did? We did more Backstreet Boys, <gasps> pop music. I love Backstreet Boys! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was basically more music like that, yeah. but... I feel safe just performing anyway, so yeah. either side is my comfort zone. You know, and then when the dancing comes out, it might be a little bit whoop. <laughs> but other than that, performing. Ignore him, he's great on the dance. He's great, you know. It's, <laughs> it's me! <laughs> <laughs> but, <clears throat> so, I mean, with, with Injustice, did you have to do a lot of sort of Backstreet Boys-esque dance moves? We did, we did. Uh, a lot easier than what we were doing here. Yeah. A lot easier than what we're doing here, so yeah. I don't want to get into that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, tell us a bit about yourself and your career up until this point. What you've been doing. My career this. up until this point, well, uh, I was trained at Italia Conti mm -hmm. from the age of seven onwards. Um, did the sound of music when I was younger. Oh, how old uh, were you then when you did I that? was 14, I was free at one trap. Baby Harry. I was, I was a podgy free trick <laughs> trap. Sure you weren't. I, I really was. <laughs> yeah, they were actually a whole curtain oh, just geez. for my dungarees. <laughs> um, yeah, then I was at, like in the bill and I, you know, did, then went into the boy band after college. Mm. And that's basically it and it's led me up to about now. Mm. So Have you done any other musicals before Footloose? Or? I haven't done any musicals before this, no. Wow. It's the first one. Why choose Footloose? It's just such a feel-good musical, you know, yeah. like you walk off stage and you're still buzzing. So I say, the music's absolutely brilliant. Yeah. I mean, as you can see, and whoever's going to come watch it, <laughs> people just stand up at the end and just don't, they just dance themselves, you yeah. know, and this, we might as well come off over break and get them up there. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But it's so, like I said, it's a feel-good musical and no way you can't not love it. Cool, 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 cool. Um, I wanted to ask also, I mean, I have to admit, I've not seen the movie which is shameful for someone who's the admin of the Facebook page for Footloose. I've not seen the I movie. I haven't seen it either. <gasps> so you haven't? Oh my gosh. Well, it's I wanted oh, to ask you, yeah, I wanted to ask you if, you, if um, there were any favourite moments from like the movie that perhaps are recreated in the, in the musical, but I guess I can't <laughs> I like ask that question now. Dance, you know, <laughs> to, to Footloose. I like that bit. <laughs> <laughs> but you've not, yeah. See, that fell flat. Oh, um, final question I wanted to ask, Harry. Um, I'm not going to lie, I had my misgivings when I first saw a picture of you because I thought you looked so young and sweet and innocent. I couldn't see you as Chuck Cranston, but having seen you on stage, you were amazing. You have more than filled the shoes oh, of Chuck thank Cranston. thank you very much. How do you do it? Uh, I don't know. It's just that I've always played sort of aggressive, angry, macho sort of <laughs> character. Yeah. Not that that was much, but <laughs> you, you get the gist of it. I've always sort of played those sort of type of characters. Yeah. You know, and then when I come off, as you say, I've got the biggest baby face ever. Like people come, he can't be Chuck. You know <laughs> but I don't know, it's just, it's just acting really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. You know, so I'm glad you say I've got a baby face and I look you young. Dude, doesn't he have the most adorable face, guys? But anyway. Thank you so much, Thank Harry. You. It's been a great interview. Um, Thank you very I'm much. I'm sure the Facebook fans would love it. Do you want to just give a little final um, goodbye or message to the Facebook fans? Guys. Thank you very much. If you've already seen the show, thanks for your Facebook inboxes that I've got. And make sure you come and see the show. It's brilliant. I haven't got to say anymore. You just come see it for yourself. End of. You can see on my face <laughs> the excitement. So just come and just see it for yourself. You will not regret it. Thank you, Harry.